guys, good morning. It is Florida South Flips. I know it's been a couple of days since I put out a video. Uh, I've been dealing with these really bad headaches uh, to the point where like, literally I had to go to the doctor to get tested for a brain tumor. It was pretty serious. Uh, luckily the test came back negative. Um, we're still trying to figure out what's going on though. Uh, so that's why I haven't put out any content in about four or five days, but we're back at it. Got to make a living, got to put bread on the table. So we're headed out to Tampa right now to pick up a couple units. We got two 5x10s and a 5x15 today. Going to pick up the trailer, then we're hitting the highway. I'll check in with you guys once I get up there and we can kind of see what we're dealing with. Nothing super awesome, uh, well, that we know of. There's uh, about $50 in purchase price for all three units. Two of them I got for 10, one of them I got for 30. Uh, so we're just looking for smalls for eBay. So that's why I, I everything else had huge amounts of furniture in it, stuff I did not want to deal with. With this headache I've got going on and these health issues, the last thing I want to be doing is breaking my back for solid hardwood furniture or anything huge like that. I mean, there are some mattresses and box springs I'm gonna to have to deal with, but I think that's my biggest tackle today. So without, um, delaying anymore we're gonna go ahead and get started guys thank you so much for checking me out if you haven't had a chance yet make sure you hit that subscribe button share this video whatever it is you want to do have a great day I'll catch up with you soon peace so we got to the first U-Haul and they didn't even have any trailers which is crazy because I always go there and never have any problems so here we are almost an hour behind schedule and I'm just now getting the trailer on uh, it's gonna put us in Tampa about 11 we're just gonna have to hustle 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 Get everything thrown in there. Not, not No time to mess around today. Probably won't even eat for a while, so. Uh, should be a good time. See you guys then. All right guys, so we're at our second unit for the day. And this one looks a little bit more lucrative. 10 bucks for this unit as well. I'm gonna flip over the camera and show you what we got. So, everybody knows that I love Jordans. And I'm gonna show you why I bought this unit. So I saw these, um, but it seems like there's a, a lot of shoes in here. Uh, but if you look over here, we've got more Jordans in here. Looks like a nice pair of Jordans right there. Oh, what are these? I don't know what those are, but I don't think they have any value. But uh, yeah, looks like more shoes here. So not a lot in here, won't take long to load, and we'll probably make uh, 300 bucks on just tennis shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff loaded up, and uh, son of a biscuit, that looks like a king size bed. And we'll be on to our next one. And like I said, we'll go through all this stuff, uh, look at all this jewelry. If there's anything real in there later. And then here's a present that somebody. Okay, 10 piece bowl set. Not a great present. But hey, the Jordans are present enough for me. See you guys soon. Hey, what's up, guys? So we have not actually looked at any of this stuff. Literally, I loaded it off the trailer in here and took the rest of the stuff that I knew was bulk trash uh, straight to our disposal site. Um, so we're going to go through all this together, we're going to see what's in here. Uh, I do know that there's some Jordans in here, which makes me super excited because that's like my kryptonite. And it's, uh, anytime I see one of these boxes right here, uh, it's just, I, I can't resist. So I did get there, and I did open it up on camera and show you these here. So those, those are going to be worth a couple bucks. Got to do a little bit of cleaning, but not much. Set those aside. This was in, uh, this was that printer that I think I showed you guys too. So that was in there brand new in the box. Saw the comps on those, about 35 bucks on eBay. Okay, here looks like another pair of shoes. I don't know what these are. What's the brand on them? They're not Tumbo's. Buco? I have no idea. Bucho? B U C C O? I don't know. We'll check them out. Probably not going to be worth much, but you know, here we have another Jordan. I know the matches in here somewhere. We're going to put this right on top of that box and we'll find the other one. All right, so I don't even know where to get started. Wait, Damn. I found it. That was dang on easy right there. All right, so we'll go ahead and dig in here and see what's in the rest of this bag. Looks like we got some more shoes. Ooh, girl, you better work. 
All right, so let's go ahead and check out what we got in here. Whoa. Whoa. You better work, girl. All right, so. Wait, I want to get a close-up of those because right, I want to see the graphics on them. Looks like they got a little wear. Looks like she was on, on the scene with these. Oh, my. Um, it will make some... Some, some stripper very dancer happy. Dancer or drag queen very happy. <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested in those, leave a comment and I'll let you know what size they are. Let me probably paint those bottoms out on All right, we're uh, keeping the trend going here with glitter. I can't read the brand on those. Uh, looks like made in China. Uh, they look kind of like glittery rain boots. Probably yard sale fodder. Same with these. I'm assuming these aren't Nikes. Those came from Amazon. I've seen those before. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and let those all go to uh, yard sale stack. Oh, my. Woo! All right. You're not selling that in my yard sale. Yeah, we are. They're going to think they're mine. Well, then <laughs> Jesus. So we're... Uh, what are these Inspector Gadget shoes? They jump up and down? No, no. <laughs> oh. All right. We're learning today, folks. Uh, Cape Robin. I saw some boxes. I don't know if these have any value, but... I don't think so. Yard sale. Uh, there's that other glitter boot. It's see-through. Oh. All right, so basically, I think that's, yeah. That sets that. So next bag. Looks Alex says clothing. Just pull out a couple brands real quick here to take a look. This looks like crap. Looks like they're gonna be making another trip to Goodwill. It does look like that, doesn't it? Gucci belt! Not Alright, we're not even gonna look at that because Goodwill is gonna get all of that. What's in that box there? That's perfect. Okay. Those are shoes? Yeah, those might those are probably sell. That dirt devil. Who could use that? I thought Gracie was gonna. Yeah, she can use that for take that to her new apartment. Whew. Is that salt? One salt, one pepper? <laughs> no, it is not. Oh. All right. So we got new shoes. Uh. Well, nine dollars new. Thirty-five dollars from the manufacturer. I'm not gonna say those are gonna be worth very much at all. All right. So as we know, women's shooting or women's shooting. Women's shoes never a real big turnover. They are if you buy the right brands. These actually were all I salvaged from the first unit. Uh, so basically, I got these. These are uh, Nike Air Max Thea, uh, and then these are Jordan Retros, which there was a little paint on these. Yeah, see, I want to get some black paint and redo the. Ooh, I did not look at the soles. They definitely got some good wear. These are probably going to be yard sale actually. What else do we get for shoes? I love shoes, guys. They freaking sell. Make a lot of money with shoes. So those are in pretty good condition. Clean the soles up. They think those will pop. And then uh, I grabbed this here, breathing treatment for yard sale. Uh, and then I think there's like a pair of Jordans in here, like for kids or something, maybe two. So these will probably be worth like 10 bucks or something, maybe. Anyways, shoes are boring. Unless you're me. Just fall all this stuff back in there. Alright. There's another shoe in this bag. That's oh, it goes to that. Yeah, that's the matching one there. This looks like clothing. Uh, hey. Good grief. I guess Paul Bunyan needed the party too. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to photograph those. I don't think we are. I think those are yard sale fodder. Oh, somebody's senior living shirt. Yeah, this is all. Oh. What do we got here? Oh. oh. Santa Claus. Santa Claus and sandals. Nothing exciting. All right. Oh my. In the, what in the. Maybe your next Halloween costume? 
I don't think I can. Oh, we got a price tag. Yeah. I believe this lady might have, have been a dancer. Possibly been a dancer. Possibly. So this actually has a tag on it. Hey, y'all know some strippers? Tell them I got the hookup for them. Um, I don't know if I want to really go through the rest of this. Well, let's not. If you're wanting to keep it PG, let's let's not. True that. All right, so we'll let you know if we come up with anything else, guys. I'll leave bags later, but it looks just like clothing in here. Shoe goes in the shoe box. Uh, I do know one of these bags. Oh, hey, let's show them the bed. This was actually the bed that came out of that one unit uh, with the, the dancers unit, apparently. Um, as you can see, it's got some glittery inlay here. These are all uh, really nice pieces here. And I believe this is... Uh, not real leather, uh, but it's really nice though. So and there's a matching mirror that goes with the no dresser. The is there a manufacturer on this? River's Edge. I don't know. All right. Anyway, so yeah, I'll probably that better probably pay for everything that I I spent uh, on the units. Yeah, I think you can sell those. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to be worth a whole lot, but. No. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think they would. Cause but they're unique. Oh, no boundaries. That's a that's a Walmart brand, correct? I'm pretty sure. Good will. All right, so. I will pay you a lot of money to put that on. Not going to happen. With a pair of the shoes. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Uh, I don't know if there's any money in this, but... <laughs> Jackie, Jackie would know because... No, I wouldn't. <laughs> well, you got, the dancers and stuff, I thought you had a lot of costumes. That's like that. uh, not the kind of dancers that I was <laughs> All right, training. So what's this? Uh, we found her stash here. Lots of glitter. Shocker. All right, I got to stop and be nice. Oh, might have you some more eau de starage. What is that? Oh, that's night cream. Age-defying night cream. Maybe she was an aging stripper. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that uh, like this is a combination of a couple different units, but I'm pretty sure this came from hers. I'm pretty sure that is gonna be trash. Trash. Yeah. Oh my! I'm a little overwhelmed by this yeah, just pile. Relax. Just relax. All right, we already went through these, right? So a lot of this stuff will be gone um, in the next couple of days. We'll be taking a lot of Goodwill. This looks like it's uh Probably is a good brand. Yep. No. Oh, yeah, it's in there. I guess are it's... Are there knives? Is it brand new? Yeah, because the knives must be in here. That'll work. We need knives. We also need eBay sales. So there you go. Brand new knives on eBay. This I think we're gonna give to my daughter for her dorm. So I, uh, I've been doing a little learning about things that you don't expect to sell. Let's see what's in here. And uh, one of them is toys. So there was a bunch of these toys I got. I got. We'll check those out in a minute. What is this? I'm gonna say. There's no brand name on the outside. H M. It's H and M. I mean, it's not super yard high sale? end. Yard, yard sale would be good. Mm -hmm. Hey, yard sale. People love purses and yard sales. Ooh. That is rough. That is. That is going a coach in... that went rogue. That is going in the goodwill pile. Guess. I guess that's a good yard sale. Um, just coach, right? Yeah, I just don't know about the authenticity of it. I'd probably put it in the yard sale. Of course you would, but I'm going to get it with that. I think those are actual brass. That's how you tell. Oh, that's brass. That is not, not how you tell. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, on the Michael Kors, I don't know about coach, but. Rachel. Um, Rachel. Why would it have a Rachel tag? That's, yeah, that's weird. Coach? Maybe it is super fake. Maybe it's not even. Yeah, coach. it is, because look. Look, that does not exist yeah, in the coach true. logo. 
Okay. Coach isn't really that valuable anymore anyway. Vintage coaches. Found that out recently. What is this? I'm... I'm... Oh, there's a label. Mm. I'm gonna venture to say that's gonna be trash. Oh, look. Being in there. Ah! Oh. Thought I got a pair of Ray-Bans for a second. Same bunch of junk jewelry in here. Can we pull this out? Um, we can add it to our junk uh, jewelry lot. That's cute. It's just done. Ding. Time to get up. Alright. So, the reason I kept these is because they're really cool. I'm about to have a yard sale next weekend. And uh, people love old signage. So I got this one here. Okay, those are the boxes for the, uh, the Jordans. The other ones. And then uh, I got this sign here. What does it say? Uh, bathrooms. Ooh. I got this sign here. Siesta Key Village. Yeah, that's super cool, right? And then, uh, this basically just, ow, oh, son of a gun. It's a really weathered, somebody might like it, I don't know, it says boat rentals on it. I figured those are worth a couple bucks each. Oh boy, there's drawers? Yeah, there's stuff in there. All right, so basically this is just a bunch of toys. I'm gonna look through this later. Um, cause I know basically what to look for now. I don't see any of it right now. There is a Miss Potato Head. It's also a Fisher-Price telephone. I'm pretty sure it's probably not OG Fisher-Price. Uh, yeah, so I'll look through that later. Or maybe I'll just give it to right row. What the heck was that? Something that had beads in it's it. It's not any glittery. Alright. Moving on. What do you think is in here? Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say glasses or something. Cups. I see aluminum foil. Just, yeah. The toys? No, it's like... More costume jewelry? Yeah, it's jewelry holders and costume jewelry. And jump jewelry? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing real on there. People do like when you put the junky costume jewelry in a big bag and they just buy it by the bag. Okay, what is that? A Little Trip to Heaven. All right, rated R. You never seen it. More junk jewelry. And then... Ooh, that's... Super fake. Is that brackets or something? Yeah. Here we go. Found the pearls. The super fake pearls. Dude, well, look at this bracelet, though. It's horrible. That's super chunky. All right. So, and then we have a little I love you heart. All right, nothing exciting in here, guys, unfortunately. Boo! More purses. Uh, they all look like. Is that coach? Let me see the logo up close. There's um, a coach tag on it. You can tell by the stitching. Big chunky stitching like that. And so now. So yeah, uh, apparently this is not real. That would be a garage sale one though, because I think people will buy them at the garage sale. It does have a certificate of authenticity in it. I guess that's fake too. We can look it up. All right. So here's a coach bag. Nicole, never heard of. Uh, Nicole Miller. It's good. Whew. When you're feeling fierce, you bust out the Cosmo bag here. That's a no. That's a good little one. And that's H&M. All right, looks like we got... I don't know what the, what the heck that is. Doesn't really 
matter. I'm sure, it's not worth anything. H and M again. Oh dear lord. This is for, I guess, when you want to go to Studio 54. It's not open anymore. <laughs> What's that? It's not open anymore. Oh, well, Studio 108. Then. What else? <laughs> and to complete the day, you know, you got some fake jewelry here. You know it's fake when it feels like a Christmas hook. <clears throat> All right, so a lot of this stuff's going back. I wanted to know what you thought of this piece right here. Um, what is it? It's a cabinet, but look at the shape of it. It's kind of like... It's like a pedestal. Up. Is that what you I, call those things? Yeah, it's a pedestal. I have no idea. I'd have to look at the manufacturer. Oh, okay. You can look through that later. Uh, let's see what else. Pull out this. I do like those lamps though. Those lamps are old. What? So those lamps are old and I'm probably I'm gonna keep them. I told you they were old. But one looks broken. It just needs to be screwed in there, I think. Something tight or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Alright, so this was heavy as heck when I carried it up here. And uh I'm not sure you're gonna have enough room to open that. <laughs> no. No idea what's in here, guys. So let's find out together. Pots and pans, I'm guessing. I was wrong last time, though. They got us some awesome yeah. fake jewelry. There's some glass that might cut you. Be careful. Yeah, this is all personal stuff. Ooh, it's broken. All right, um, cut. All right, guys, so I took a sneak peek in here. I wanted to make sure this wasn't full of all personal stuff. I was wrong about it being pots and pans. I just heard a lot of clinking. Uh, it does look like there's some clothes in here. What there's some personal stuff that looks like a photo album. No, yeah, baseball cards. Oh. Oh. Yeah, check that out. Make sure football cards. I wonder if there's any value here. They're super sticky. They've been out here in the heat for a long time. Looks like a whole collection of these gold ones. Look, Kurt Warner, but they spelled it. No, they didn't spell it wrong. <laughs> uh, man, that's awesome. Kurt Warner with the St. Louis Rams. Yeah, that's amazing. So this has to be 90s, like late 90s. Uh, and then it looks like we have a bunch of baseball cards here. Now I know that a lot of the baseball cards in the 90s aren't worth a lot of money because there were so many of them produced. But some of them, uh, the collectible, like the super collectible ones, the rare ones, have some value to them. So we'll check these out. Um, probably not gonna retire. I don't see any Babe Ruth or anything in there. Of course it's just clothing. Clothing and... More Nikes. Ooh, Nikes. These are men too. Sweet. So this is gonna be probably an easy 50 bucks. Once I get them cleaned up. Uh, Jiffy Lube, looks like more personal paperwork. And I don't see anything else. Oh, hey. This is actually not paperwork. Hey. Woo! Monday! <laughs> Let's see, what we got here? One, two, three, four. Are they $2 bills? Yeah. Those eight, aren't even in circulation anymore. Eight dollars! Hey, they still spin. They still spin. And it's worth their worth, eight dollars. So there you go, we're already making our money back. And this looks just like more baseball stuff, actually. Is there stuff to get back there? Like... Yeah, we don't want to show any of that paperwork stuff. Um, let's in here real quick. So I see Sports Illustrated, Football Pro, and more paperwork. All right, so that was paperwork. 
let that blur that out if any of that got in there. Uh, looks like we've got some brand new clothing with tags though here. What is this? Brooklyn Laundry. Price tag. Oof. <laughs> Yard sale. Alright. So we got some cool baseball cards out of there. Alright. Put those up for now. And we made eight bucks back. We are on our way. How much did you spend on this unit? Um, all together for gas, the trailer, all three units that are here. The, the stuff that I kept. I'm in about 150. So the bed I'm gonna sell for 100 bucks. Uh, one pair of those Jordans I'm gonna sell for 50 bucks, and then everything else we sell out of here is profit. So uh, not not too shabby. I mean I know that I got like at least four or five more pairs of Jordans. I'm probably gonna get like 40 to 50 bucks each for. So there's 200 bucks. Um, check this out. Just saw these. Oh, that's nice. These will sell on eBay. Uh, let's see. I don't know the comps on them, but that most likely will sell. Yeah, yeah Sporting Goods always does really good. This is going to be cheap to ship. Complete with blood stains. <laughs> let's try to get those out. Yeah, probably not. It's authentic, baby. This looks like junk. Uh, what's in here? Oh, here we go. More jewelry for you to go through. Down here. Yeah. Alright, so uh, where do you want this jewelry? Let's stack it up over here. Alright. Uh we are I mean that F thing right there, I think I could definitely get 50 bucks for that Schwinn double stroller. So we're definitely gonna make some pretty decent money off of this little trip here. I didn't really fully intend on getting stuff for the yard sale, but I totally did. Um, as a byproduct of just trying to get some more stuff to put on eBay because I was running out of shoes. So I bid on stuff that I saw with Jordan boxes nobody else was bidding on. Um, this actually, I, I kind of got stuck with the one here. Didn't mean to buy it, it was an accident. Um, I'm not going to run roll this all, but you guys see the print on this rug. Probably need a good scrub down. We're not giving that to them. Uh, that's going to go to the yard sale. I can get it clean. Looks like we have a few records here. Uh, ZZ Top, Led Zeppelin, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the sleeves. Uh, check this out. Got uh, Memoirs of Charlotte. Sherlock Sherlock. Holmes. Sherlock. <laughs> Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes and the Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. We've got Tales of the Edgar Allan Poe. Let's see what print this is, just out of curiosity. It doesn't look that old. Those pages are pretty yellow. Let's see here, 1980, oh, this is the 1990 edition, so almost 30 years old, probably not super valuable. Uh, but we'll check it out and see what they go for. Um, and then Uncle Tom's Cabin. Pretty sure that's that's one I skipped. Looks like we got more cards here. Jeez, that is a huge baseball card collection. Yeah. Um, so we'll go through, and I'll, I'll actually just drop these off after I go through and make sure there's no autographs. I'll just drop these off at this guy in town who sells all this stuff and see if he wants to make me an offer on any of it. I'm not expecting to get rich on any of that stuff. I know baseball cards are, you know. Uh, super mass produced in the 90s. Alright, so this is for the maid service that we're about to get once we hit a thousand viewers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, right. Looks like we have a brand new product here. Originally bought at $7.99, still sealed. We'll see the comps on that. It's a UPC, so it might be hard. Might be worth a couple bucks. You know. Nothing more annoying than jewelry that won't just leave you alone. Uh, what do we got here? A, a brand oh, no, new that bag. Back, that backpack's cute. A uh, Madden girl. Yeah, that that will sell. She got it from Dee Dee's Discounts and paid thirty-five dollars for it. Let's see how much it was originally. Sixty dollars was the MSRP. 
So if you guys want this, 25 bucks free shipping, you guys holler at me and I'll, I'll send it right to you. I thought those were strippers for a minute. <laughs> no, it looks like. Yeah, these are all. Wow. These might actually be worth some money, guys. These are old. Yeah. It's like these, 80s. And these, I don't think, were as widely collected or kept in great shape or uh, kept as a collection like, like these here. I am super stoked about these. I'm gonna get these checked out and I'll let you know what, what they look like. Uh, but yeah, amazing, super awesome. Uh, baseball cards, not so much, WWF, WWE, stuff like that. Now you're talking. All right, so what else do we have in here? Um, Bunch of cords. Yeah, nothing super exciting in there. Save them just in case we find electronics. Well, no, I have a bunch of laptops in here. There was like four laptops and the, the one that I paid 30 bucks for with the wrestling cards. Uh, let's see what's in here real quick. All right, so phone case, nothing exciting. This looks like stuff I don't want to touch. see anything super valuable in there, do you? No. Let's just gonna skip that. Is that a camera? Yeah, it's something. Sony Cybershot. I don't think these are very valuable. Maybe like 14, 15 bucks. You never know. Oh, actually, Sony... 8.1 megapixels. <laughs> <laughs> Sony products actually have a huge following, so maybe it's got a collector's value. Not very practical in today's market, though. I officially can't get back there. <laughs> okay, that's all right. We're almost done. Um, I have more Jordans and stuff in, in one of these bags. Uh, what do we have here? Anything in here? Something's shaking around in there. Pills. and nail polish, ibuprofen, I might need that with all these headaches I've been having lately. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the Jordans are, but I know. Okay, Halloween's right around the corner, check that out. <laughs> uh, I know wifey's getting a little hot out here, so... We might take a break. Oh, cash money. Now this might be collectible coins or something. Who knows? You think? I don't know. I mean, why would they be in that tin unless she just threw know. them in there? Kids could put them in there or something. We'll, we'll check them out. Maybe it's all silver. What's that? It's a silver dollar. Yeah, maybe. 60, 68. 66. See, that's 80. I don't think silver dollars were in the 80s. That's a 76er. That's a quarter. I, yeah, silver quarters, I meant. All right, we'll look at this stuff, guys. It's hot out here. We're going to make them one big mess. It's all right, I'm going to clean it up, too. To get all this stuff to the proper places. Are those sheets go. that you just pulled out? Oh, gross. No, I, think I think they're clothing items. Look, one looked like a sheet, and if, like you have, if you come across any like Disney kid sheets, those sell really good on eBay. Okay. I don't know. I think this may have been. What is this? I think this may have been one of the. Oh, is that teeth? No, those are shells. Oh, those are bones too. Wait, bring it closer. Okay, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> What's in here? Probably more bones. Oh, don't touch me. No, no, no. What was it? <laughs> Why are they saving those? I don't know. <laughs> Probably some voodoo magic crap. 
Okay, this looks like a oh. mess. I'm going to kill you! That might be good for your Halloween. No, we definitely Dang. do much higher end productions <laughs> than that. Alright, so that was super disappointing because not only did it all fall out, but none of it had value. What's this? Looks like more personal paperwork. Yeah, personal paperwork. We'll go through that later. Anybody want to buy this Nirvana CD? Holler at me. What's in here? Art kit? I don't know how will Xfinity ever write things down. Ooh, the sweat is dripping. Papers. Yep. Why? 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 Why save any of this crap? Okay. Ah! Uh, what's in this black box here. Man, I have got a huge mess to clean up while y'all go enjoy a good movie today. Doesn't seem very fair. I don't know where you're going with that, but... Right here. Okay. Uh, these are unfortunately not worth crap. What are they? Because I actually have one right over there on the shelf that I've had for... Four years. Two dollars at the garage sale. Couldn't even sell it for that. Uh, this is a different story. Sammy Sosa may have some value to him. Oh, check that out. What That's is that? super cool. That's an actual OG vintage video game still in the pack from 2002. So it's about 20 years old. Um, I bet you anything there's a market for that. I bet you anything. Hot Wheels still in the Is pack. Is that all sealed toys? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, it looks like there's some open stuff in here. We got more football cards, maybe. Ooh, these are super sticky. That happens in the heat, guys, down here. Things just, they they melt sometimes. Not enough to destroy them, but just enough to take the finish and just kind of stick it together. But yeah, this looks like it's all... Uh, Wait a minute. Is there a whole box of these ones? Yeah. More cards. Okay. We'll see if these have any value, guys. You know what has awesome value? Air conditioning. Uh, -huh. uh looks like we have a bunch more Hot Wheels. Are these red liners? Because the red line ones are the ones that are worth money. They have a red line around the tire. I don't see any red lines on any of those. Alright, so we're going to keep on going. What do we have here? Who's that? No idea. Limited edition, numbered, uh, bobblehead doll, number seven for the Buccaneers. Tampa Bay, who's the quarterback over there? Or who was the that quarterback? Was Back in... Doesn't matter. Too hot to care. Don't want it. Alright, more sealed Hot Wheel toys, first editions. That's probably got a little value to it. Check that out. What do we got here? Oh, comic books. Comic books. Hello. Oh, that makes me nervous. There's a $4 price tag on it, but. They didn't care for them very well. Yeah, these are. Those are from the 90s. Uh, Sim Simpsons, this looks like it's open box. Probably wasn't, but it's humidity got to it here in Florida. There you go. Whole new pack of Hot Wheel Police Cruisers. So, I, I mean, the guys, everything I pull out of here, I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to make some money on. You'll at least make 9 to $15 each. On these items? Yeah, on the sealed. Uh, yeah, there's more 1998 first editions. 98 was a good year. I was 21. It's on tour. Having the time of my life. Uh, I think that's actually just rubbish. And then what's in here? More cards, more cards. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's yellow. 
This is a 32 Ford Coupe made in 1999. This. Open. This is, oh, it's a Protecto pack. So, so basically, it, this yellow thing here Protect. is, is just protecting the actual piece itself inside here. This might have some real value to it. Hopefully. Or maybe the guy was just a fond, fond of that model and he was an optimist. Oh no. That happens, unfortunately. But uh, we're keeping on going here, guys. I'm, I'm getting through it here as fast as I can. Speed Racer, Johnny Lightning. Uh, another 98 first edition. This right. one apparently has a toy collector. I am going to have such a huge mess to clean up, guys. Oh, that's another one. nice one. That's another one of the police cruisers. Uh, so we got two of those. Guys, I'll find out what I'm, I'm going to ask for these. And if you're interested, please drop a comment below. And uh, I'll let you know if we can work something out. Or this if anybody like, sees anything that we're missing. Yeah, this looks like it's broken. And then I think that's the bottom of the honey hole there. So lots of cards, lots of cards, lots of collectibles. Um, I'm not going to make her stand out here any hotter or any because it's so hot so I will go through the rest of this I'll pull out the other Jordans that I know were in there and I'll show you guys at the end I'm gonna pull everything into my office that's gonna have some real value to me and then we'll go over it all uh, thanks so much for watching make sure you hit that like the subscribe and the follow button and you know guys share this so that you know eventually one day I'll be able to have a fan out here peace